In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. Hello, I'm Father Paul, and this is the Good News. The scripture reading today is taken from the Gospel according to St. Luke, chapter 17, verses 11 through to 19. Now it happened as he went to Jerusalem, that he passed through the midst of Samaria and Galilee. Then as he entered a certain village, there met him ten men who were lepers, who stood afar off. And they lifted up their voices and said, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. So when he saw them, he said to them, Go, show yourself to the priests. And so it was that they went, they were cleansed. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, returned, and with a loud voice glorified God, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving him thanks. And he was a Samaritan. So Jesus answered and said, Were there not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you well. In the scripture reading today, we read about the ten cleansed lepers. There are a couple of important little points here we need to meditate on, think about it. There is a law that, in particular pertaining to lepers, if <clears throat> they are healed before they go into the community, they must present themselves to the priest in the temple. And of course, there's a cleansing ritual they have to go through. And this is one of the reasons why Jesus told them, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they were travelling towards the temple in Jerusalem, they noticed they were starting to be clean. And it tells us here that one noticed it. And he stopped, turned around, and went back to see Jesus. As he was approaching with a loud voice, this leper who was cleansed, glorified God, praising God for what had happened to him. And not surprising, of course, Jesus asked the question, Were there not nine, uh, ten? Where are the other nine? And the bottom line to his whole reading, Jesus said to him, Were there not any found who returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? the Samaritan. And Jesus told the man, Arise, go your way, your faith has made you well. The faith of this foreigner, as they call it here, the Samaritan. Jesus was astonished because the others never bothered they were just going to carry out the ritual at the temple, the cleansing. And not to thank God. But this one person did. 
He thanked God for this miracle. He thanked Jesus, the Son of God, for this miracle. How often do we thank God? Do we thank God every day for the many blessings we receive? Or don't you see them? Don't you see those blessings? They're happening all the time. How often do we thank God for them? How often do we praise God for them? The praises of God should be always on our lips, in our hearts. We may not see them. Why? Are we blind to the great power of God that He bestows on us? The many blessings we receive. Simple blessings. They don't have to be great miracles like healing these lepers. Every morning, when we wake up, another day, we see the sun come up, a miracle, beautiful, start of another day, another opportunity for us to thank God for his blessings. This is what we need to do constantly. Thank God for these blessings continually. How often do we just ask God for blessings? We need this, we need that, we ask God for them. You should always praise God first. Thank Him for being our Father, a caring Father. Thank God daily, not just to ask for things. It is good manners. Haven't you been taught? I know I was. Always to say thank you when you are given something. Doesn't necessarily have to be a birthday present. A nice little treat, for instance, if you remember when you were a child. Your grandparents came around. And they brought you something special. If you didn't thank them, you would hear about it, wouldn't you? So too, we need to thank God daily. We need to pray daily. Not only just to thank God, but to worship Him. Praising Him. And as a loving Father, He will bestow blessings on us, little treats even. Just to see the birds outside, tweeting, making noises, singing, praising God. St. Francis of Assisi used to acknowledge this quite often. You may have heard stories about it. Where he was talking to his brothers about how the birds of the air praise God daily. So too we should praise God and sing of his glory. May the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, Son, and of the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you always. Amen.